top five indie games around $20 that you need to play. I know what you might be thinking. $20 is a bit pricey for an indie game. And in general, I might agree. But with most big blockbuster games costing at least around $70 or $80 these days, the bang for your buck at $20 is pretty impressive to say the least. Here are my top five indie games that you need to play that are all around or under $20. Number one, Inside. In no particular order, my first pick, and oldest release on the list, is Inside. Developed by the same studio that did Limbo, much like its predecessor, Inside is a puzzle platformer that puts you in the shoes of a young boy who breaks into an ominous testing facility. The puzzles are not only brain-teasing, clever, and satisfying, but also reveal more and more about Inside's world, why you might be trying to break in, and the truth about the facility itself. Much like some of my other favorite games, Inside does an incredible job telling a story without saying anything. Rather, it shows you through your gameplay what is happening in the world, and leaves you to figure it out for yourself. Being released in 2016, you can usually get Inside for about 10 bucks on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or Nintendo Switch. Being the most accessible game of all the picks on the list, this is the only one I would recommend to almost anyone, even non-gamers, to finish. Number 2. Slay the Spire When I first played Slay the Spire earlier this year, I wouldn't have guessed it would make this list. I'm not a huge deck builder guy and I actually wasn't all that impressed with the graphics or animations to justify the $25 price tag. That said, this is the game I'm playing the most right now, and honestly, I'm absolutely addicted. Slay the Spire is a single player roguelike deck builder that never asks you to play longer than you'd like to because it saves at every turn and never has any secrets or hidden traps because the game does a pretty good job of giving you the rules as you play. There's no tutorials, there's just gameplay and reading what's going to happen. The rest is up to you. No tricks, no traps, just you making decisions. Sometimes ones you'll cringe and hate yourself for, and sometimes ones you'll think you're an absolute genius for. If you like casual, low commitment games, this game's for you. If you like deep, calculated turn-based strategy games, this game's also for you. If you like Hearthstone and roguelike games, then stop listening to me right now and go buy this game. You can thank me later. Slay the Spire is available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Number 3. Cuphead. Oh, Cuphead. What an amazing, heart-wrenching, beautiful, savage masterpiece that will have you in tears for how difficult it is, but dumbfounded how they managed to even animate all of it in the first place. If you're into punishing but rewarding games like Dark Souls or Super Meat Boy, this one might just be your cup of tea. Get it? Cup, cup, tea, cup, head, cup, okay, I'll stop. The gameplay requires you to learn the attack patterns of your enemies and finesse your way to victory, leaving you with an extremely low margin for error. Every twitch of your joystick matters, along with the jumps, dashes, and deflections, all while whittling down your health barless enemies. It's as intense as they get, but when you finally beat the boss you've been at for 5 hours straight, there's very few games that can give you such a high. Despite how brutal the gameplay is, it's also a marvel to look at, and so unique, you can't help but love it at first sight. Coming in at $20, Cuphead's available on Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Sorry PlayStation. Number 4, Dead Cells. Arguably less frustrating than Cuphead, but just as action-packed comes Motion Twin's Dead Cells. Best described as a roguelike metroidvania game, Dead Cells is all about fast-paced arcade-like hack-and-slash action, with the added fun of unique, randomized equipment upgrades as you progress through each level. Every playthrough you can hold up to two weapons and two skills. As you progress, you'll have the option of swapping out stronger gear or upgrading the gear you already have. There's over 50 weapons and over 30 skills in the game, and randomized stats for each piece every playthrough, so the combinations of equipment are nearly endless and rarely feel too stale. The hack and slash combat is blended seamlessly with the Metroidvania style platforming, making a game that feels smooth and satisfying, as recklessly running into a cluster of enemies, dropping down an automatic turret, rolling under a barrage of their attacks while your turret fires from behind you, freezing them in place with an ice grenade, shooting a piercing arrow through all of them, finishing off the stragglers with one critical hit from your broadsword, and leaping onto the next platform to do it all again. Seriously, if that doesn't sound cool to you, I don't know what else to say. Don't be a killjoy. 
Dead Cells is available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC for usually around $25 if you can catch it on sale. Number 5. Hollow Knight. When you look at Hollow Knight for the first time, it really doesn't look like much. You're a little bug dude running around jumping and whacking things with your sword, or sorry, nail. That said, although this list isn't in any particular order, I'd feel guilty not to mention that this is probably my favorite game out of the bunch, and probably the one I spent the most hours in. A Souls-like Metroidvania game, the depth of Hollow Knight's world and its inhabitants can be felt in droves once you get the ball moving after a relatively slow start. The combat is precise and elegant as you gain more and more skills to not only defeat your enemies, but access new parts of the map. Exploration, finding new areas, and not knowing where you're going at times is intentionally a huge component to enjoying the gameplay and literally getting lost in Hollow Knight's world. The art style, lore, and attention to detail is deep and fantastic, with every area feeling distinct and refreshing with its own unique enemies and obstacles. Combine that with the fine-tuned mechanics of the Metroidvania-style gameplay, and you have a near masterpiece at a humble $15. If you can push past the slow start, Hollow Knight has an incredibly gripping world that no serious gamer should miss. Hollow Knight is available on PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. Before we close here, there's a few games that deserve some honorable mentions. Talos Principle is a first-person puzzle game that revels in deep questions of philosophy, existentialism, religion, the nature of reality, and so much more. The puzzles get a little frustrating at the end, but the multiple endings and thought-provoking questions it poses make it one of my favorite games in the genre. Hyperlight Drifter is a 2D action role-playing game that pays homage to 8-bit and 16-bit games and gives very little exposition as to its story. Sometimes leaving a little too much to the player to figure out, the quick and challenging combat along with its atmospheric storytelling makes it a gem of its own. Bastion is another action role-playing game that carries the player through an imaginative world that's falling apart as you, the kid, tries to save it. The combat is incredibly fun, allowing you to swap between weapon combinations and purchase upgrades. Add in an extremely smooth narrator that describes your every move, and you have one unique experience that will grip you from start to finish. And there you have it, my top 5 indie games around $20 with some extras that you should definitely check out.